fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Wednesday the 20th of November 2024. I hope you are keeping well. Uh, one um, side effect of uh, living away from the UK for more than 30 years is that I'm not really up to date on exactly what they do nowadays on so, in so many ways. Uh, something I've just, I was just looking at an article in the Guardian about uh, an article about physicians associates i think they were called pas or assistants or something like that kind of medical doctors assistants who are less qualified because they have been studying they have studied for only two years as opposed to the normal seven i presume uh and um uh but they are uh, you know um they can perform some kinds of duties medical duties such as giving uh uh, medical examinations, etc., etc., taking blood pressure uh, and other and other tasks. Um, the article uh, seems to uh, imply that uh, in some cases they are not qualified. There has been some problems uh, and some possible deaths uh, caused by misdiagnosis. Um, I have no idea about what these people actually do. As I said, I've only just heard about it. But uh, let's not forget that doctors also sometimes, I mean, professionally, fully qualified doctors also sometimes misdiagnose. And those and misdiagnoses can occasionally lead to fatalities as well. So I, I th don't think we should be totally against the idea. The article says it's uh, the, the government wants to find out exactly what they do, but I think they ought to know what they do, shouldn't they? Or the NHS, uh, rather, really ought to know exactly what they are doing. I mean, you shouldn't be employing people if you don't know what they're doing uh, for you. But I guess like a proper... Um, um, Gui guidelines, uh, proper, um, what's the word I'm going to think of, um, sequestering of uh, duties uh, needs to be drawn up so that people know exactly what they're allowed to be doing and what they should not be doing. Uh, but I don't think you have to um, necessarily throw the baby out with the bathwater, which sounds like some people are in favour of doing. Uh, when there is a severe shortage of doctors. And remember, of course, part of the severe shortage of doctors caused by Brexit. So uh, let's not forget, you know, you shoot yourself in the foot. You can't find a doctor to help you with that bullet wound anymore. All right, let's get on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? Uh, I can see one of our New York Times style... Th oh, no, I can't. I was about to say I see one of our New York Times style of things, but uh, it's not true. So I won't tell you what it wasn't that I couldn't see, if that makes any sense. Of course it doesn't. Uh, I'll see something else instead. We've got sixes blocking across here and here and down here. So we'll start with a six in this square. Did I mention New York Times hard level Sudoku puzzle? I may not have done. I should say it because these uh, my voice actually gets transcribed automatically by YouTube and uh, turned into actual words so they can analyze it in case I'm trying to do anything nefarious. Uh, I think that's why they analyze it <laughs> and uh, if not if that's not the case um, then to um, maybe help with their search algorithm so I should say New York Times hard level Sudoku puzzle several times during the course of this so that it you know <laughs> it registers that's what I'm doing what is it I'm doing New York Times okay enough Now I have found one. Earlier on I was looking at this block and I got it wrong, but I see this block here, look, 174 blocking across. So we've definitely got 17 and 4 in those squares. And this is not 17 or 4, it's going to be 5, 8, 9. We've got 8 and 9 together. That's going to be our 5. We've got 8 and 9 in these squares. No, well, we don't. We've got 9 blocking up there. There's our 9. There's our 8. What's left to get over here now? Uh, two and six, I think. Okay.
I think we may have got a two. Okay, two blocking across here like this, right? And two blocking across here and down here. So two blocking across here. Two has to be in one of these two squares blocking across and two blocking this square here. Yes, in this column. I thought I'd seen it. There's a two. So now two across this way and this way will give us two in that square. Two down here, down here, and across there gives us two here. And that's as far as we can take it because we'll end up with twos in those squares there. We have one blocking this square and this square, so in this row there's a one. discovered we've got a pair of eights in these squares I don't know if that helps but I'm just yes oh don't, we don't actually we've got eight across here yeah it is gonna uh, so we've got uh, eight across here up here and across there yeah we've got eight there it, 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 I, was, I was about to say it's gonna help me find a digit up here but I didn't need it down here um, does it deal with anything else not really Okay, missing digit over here then is three. Uh, so when the one blocks down here, one is in one of those squares and seven is here. So we've got one and seven blocking across there. So these two squares have to contain one and seven and these must not. So that must be three, f four, five, three four five we've got threes blocking down and up there there's a three we've got five blocking down here there's the five and that has to be a four then four across here will give us four in this square here missing numbers here are one eight nine we've got one and nine together that's going to be our eight Missing numbers here are three, five, nine. six blocks up here and six blocks across there so we will get ourselves a six there and six across here and up and up six is our first completed digit and we've still got a number to fill in here as well what are you uh two i think you are two down here and across and across uh, and in fact two up here as well and that's the end of digit two. Down here we're looking for one and seven, I think. Uh, that's one and seven there. So these are not one or seven. They must be four, five, eight. We've got the fives blocking down here. There's the five and we'll end up with four and eight in those squares there we've got the possibility of a unique rectangle here this is four and eight right so this is one and seven this has to be one and seven because we know this is four or eight only so this can't be one or seven so it's not one two three could be four five 
six, it's not seven, not eight, so it's a four. And now our one blocking across here will give us one in this square, seven in this square, seven in this square, one in that square. And we need to shift our focus downwards, I think. We've got five blocking this square. We need a five in this column. It's got to go there. And this will be seven, I think. Three and eight block down there. So that has to be three and eight in those squares, which leaves one and four for these squares here. And I can't say which is which, but I can say, no, I can't. Oh, I've got a pair of fours there. I thought I'd seen something, but never mind. Uh, let's look up here, shall we? So one and four here. So these can't be one or four. Oh. Uh, what's missing here? Huh? Did I do that right? Hold on, I want to make sure I haven't made a mistake here. Eight and three down here, so that's eight and three. So one of these squares is a one. That definitely can't be a one. That's got to be a one. Yep, and the last number to place here is nine. Uh, and this eight, three, this is definitely one and four. Yeah, I've checked it again. Uh, so this is not one or four, it's got to be a five. And now we've got four and five blocking this square, putting four and five into those squares and handing us a nine here. And nine across will give us the nine there. And this will be seven. Definitely got to come down here now. Let's have a look at this row here. It looks like it might give us some secret. You never know. Uh, we're looking for one, four, seven, eight, I think. Well, yes, we've got eight blocking here and here and here. So there is our eight. And I think we've got four blocking here and here. So that's going to give us four. And then we'll, I've got seven blocking here. So there's our seven. And this will be a one. One across here and one down there. There's our one. This was a four, wasn't it? Just said four blocking across here. There's our four. Eight is the last digit here back this way. There's the eight, there's a three. Three across here and here, and a three down there gives us three in that square. There's only one number to go here, let's do it. It's a one. Uh, only one number to go here, that's a nine, I believe. And then we've got nine up and nine down. This has been a very easy game, hasn't it? Unusual for the New York Times, I think. Well, unless I haven't made, oh, by the way, my apologies, I made a, I, I, fluked a game yesterday I miss saw something thanks for the user putting me right on that I'm all, I always appreciate it if you do spot a fluke yeah I thought yesterday's game was pretty easy but it's because I'm <laughs> I, I didn't cheat I accidentally made a mistake and the game was became much easier because of it but anyway I don't think I've made any flukes today but I never can tell so if you did see something wrong let me know uh, thanks for any fluke heads up that you give me on this channel uh, but otherwise it was a pretty straightforward game uh, I'll see you another time for another Sudoku I'm off out for some lovely food today hopefully I'll let you know how it goes later bye bye